Make sure you watch the video in its entirety. Even though the brackets on the wall, we're going to explain everything. In this video here, we already put the bracket on the wall, but we're going to explain everything on how to put the bracket on the wall. It's super simple putting the bracket on the wall. So you're going to put the bracket on the wall, right? You determine where you want to put the bracket out, where the, where the bottom of your TV is going to end at, right? The bottom of our TV is going to end right here where we put this line at. And how you get that is all you got to do is my measuring tape. Take your measuring tape, bring it to the bottom of the TV. Like so, right? You can flip this up. And you want to see where the top of the bracket is going to end it. So the top of the bracket is this hook right here, right? So we know that's 22. Let me see. Push it all the way on. That's 22 and 3 fourths, right? 22 and 3 fourths. So we'll take 22 and three fourths. We're gonna put that right here. So we're gonna go 22, three fourths at the top of the bracket. Right? And then we, that's where the bottom of our TV gonna end up at. So we put 22, three fourths. Let me make sure I got that on there. And then the bottom of the TV is gonna end up where that measuring tape is here. Trying to hold it and do it for you guys. So that's what it's gonna end up at, right? So that's how I got where the bottom of the TV is gonna end up. So I know my bottom of my TV is gonna be here, and I want about two inches from the TV and the soundboard. Sometimes people do three, sometimes people do four. The Sonos actually come like a god. You can slide up inside here. I got my rod in the way, but it's a god here. All right, let's move this out a little bit. Try to slide this guy out, see? So, this guy will let you know how many inches you're gonna get. All right, so my mark is here, right? That's the mark right there. It's like an indention in the wall. So this guy will let me know how many inches I'm gonna be away from the TV, so. See that, put it right there, and that's about Right there, right? See, that's two inches from the TV. All right? So what I do, with, with the, every sound bar is different. With the Sonos one, as long as you stay inside this part here, this hole won't show behind the sound bar, right? But some sound bars, you want to put the sound bar on the wall first, right? You put the sound bar, put the bracket, and then put the sound bar on the wall, right? And then you're going to draw a line on behind it. I'm gonna show y'all how that look in a few minutes once I run my wires. So right now, what I did, I'll show y'all how to put a regular sound bar on the wall and you draw a line. So say if the sound bar was on the wall here, like that, you'll take your pencil and go behind the sound bar. So if the top of the sound bar was here, you wanna be behind that sound bar and draw your line. And then you go from the bottom and draw a line too. And then you know you gotta stay in between the two lines. So if somebody looking, they can't see the hole behind the sound bar. But I'll put the sound bar on the wall and show you for um, learning purposes. So basically, I'll put this hole behind here, right? That's going to be behind the sound bar. It's not going to be visible. I know the bottom of my TV is going to be here, right? I could have put the hole over right here if I wanted to. But I just put it up here, set my rod down. You want to feed the wires up. So I'm going to tape the wires to here, and then I'm going to feed it back up through the hole. So remember that the power cord... This part gotta be at the top of the wall because you gotta plug it into an outlet. So I put an outlet over there in the corner and the TV gonna cover it because it's a big TV. So I'm gonna fish this up. I'm gonna take this up and fish it. Let me see if I can stand this up. I got my tripod on me today. Hold on, let me find something.
Hopefully my phone don't fall off of here and break. All right, so we walk lightly. So what I'm gonna do actually to make it easier, because it sometimes it be hard to get the power plug down the hole. You know? So what I'll do, I'll fish it down instead. So all I'm gonna do is take some black electrical tape, right? Take my power cord. This is the plug that goes to the back of the soundbar. All right, right there. Take that on in real good. Come down here. I want to put two big pieces right next to each other, so I want to come down and then start the next piece, big piece, which is my HDMI cord. I want to have them too close to each other. All right. So make sure I leave a lip. I think I'll leave it this big, but leave a little lip that you can pull the tape off later. Some fish is right through here. So all I did to get my fish rod down there. I brought the fish rod to the wall and I kind of said, okay, it's from here to here. And I put like a bend. So I wanted the bend. So what I did, I fished it down and it came right on out. Sometimes you can take your finger and pull it out. So I'm gonna get that through here. Take my HDMI cord through. Take my lip off the tape. So watch the whole video because I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go back and show you how I bent the how I bent the uh, fish rod to go inside there. Started recording the video later. I could have showed you how to put the bracket on, like I said, but that's like super easy to put on the wall. It come with a template, and I showed you the other piece as well. So how you determine where you want to put it at. But every soundbar is different. Like I said, this is a Sonos art, so the template is made a little different. So look, so what I did was I came to the wall. I said, okay, I want my fish rod to come straight down. So I wanted to come straight and then I wanted to start bending. So I did like this, came here. I came to it like this. Bent it to where I wanted to bend at, like that. So I wanted to be straight and then I wanted to start bending up. So when I fish it, it'll come to where I wanted to come to. Push it. Like I said, sometimes you put a finger in it. Like I feel over here. So I put a finger in it, right? This is gonna touch my finger. See, it's right there. And then I pull the right one up. So you just manipulating the fish wire tape to the bend that you want it. So I can go where you want it at, right? So earlier I was showing you how this worked, this template, right? So I would have this in my hand before I screw it down. I screwed it onto two studs. I already had my, my um, TV bracket up. So I knew the studs was here, one stud was here. So this is how the template go, right? Template go here, you find where the bottom of the TV gonna be at. Once you find where the bottom of the TV gonna be at, you can take this template right here and then you know. Right, it got, it got numbers on this one for the arc. You see, it got one, two, three, right? So you put it here, and at the top, that's where the top of it is gonna end up at. So I know where I wanted it at. I wanted it at two inches. <laughs> so I held this at the wall at two inches, put my level on it, make sure it was level, right? Once I made sure it was level, I drew my little line here, drew my little line here pre-drilled the hole, and then I put the screws in. They come with little anchors too, if you can't find a vein, so you have to do pilot holes to fit it in. You wanna do like a nice, uh, it'll tell you what size hole it is, I can't remember right now, but you'll do a pilot hole, but I, I went straight on studs. The good thing about this bracket here, it's so big and long that um, you definitely probably gonna catch the studs nine times out of 10, you know what I mean? It didn't have like a little suction cup thing on it. So when you catch two studs, it actually like pull the whole bracket to the wall pretty tight. So I'm gonna show you how it works. So you draw a line behind it, right? So I'm just gonna hook this up to here right now. But I'm gonna act like it's not here and show you how you draw a line behind it. So you know where to put your hole back. So I'm gonna just plug this stuff up real quick. I 
looking up all cores real quick. Right? For the sidebar, I got these two little screws that you gotta put in the back of it. These screws right here allow the hook here and hook there. So you put these little screws. Sometimes you gotta adjust it to make it tighter to the wall. Right? So you can keep screwing them in and it'll get it tighter and tighter to the wall. So just hooks right on there. Just like that. And then you pull your wires through. You don't want to pull it through too tight. You just don't want it dangling at the bottom here. So you pull it through enough that you'll have the wires dangling because you want it to look wireless. So I'll pull on it a little bit. So now, if it was different, different type of soundbar, say if you get one of those cheap ones that don't come with a template or something, whatever, I would put the bracket on the wall, put the soundbar on the bracket, right? Then I would take a pen or a pencil and I'll come behind the soundbar and draw a line at the top. Boom, right? I want to come behind the soundbar and I'll come from the bottom and draw a line. But I want to make sure nobody can't see that hole. So I'll draw a line up. I'll go up on the soundboard, draw a line. So there'll be two lines meeting like that. And then I'll cut in between the two lines. So there'll be a line like this. When I come down on the soundbar, like that. And then one like this, and I'm gonna cut in between the two lines. So we see that. See it? Yeah, you can see that. All right? I think I don't know if you can see it. It may not be dark enough, but I darken it up. One here, one here, and I'm gonna cut in between the two lines. All right? And this one is always gonna be behind the TV, so that's why you wanna know where the bottom of the TV at. You wanna raise this up because you don't want this showing as well. So what we do in this situation for this here is that you take this little plate because the one behind the soundbar is too small to really put a plate there they got like soundbar ones but it, it don't work for all soundbars it depends on the wire itself and it, it doesn't work in every situation right so usually with the soundbar you just kind of leave that hole there but sometimes you can put the little bracket there and do it but it depends on the situation all right so let's go here like this all right, so rubber gasket, bushing plate. It's for low voltage wires. The only way you want to get a soundbar cord, I mean soundbar wireless, you gotta put the power cord in the wall. There's no other way. All right, unless you put the strip there. But if you want the wireless look, you gotta put this in. All right, just like that. Then we're gonna screw that to the wall. The screws I made, the screw that I ran into sheet rock. So I'm just gonna use some sheet rock screws. I got some silver screws, I actually kind of ran out of them, but this is behind the TV. So no one won't see this here. The sheet rock screw is this bizarre. I wouldn't use the sheet rock screw. Alright, so I'm gonna put the sheet rock I just don't like the way it looks with sheet rock screws. So the regular screws that come with this is for screwing into like a low voltage bracket or one gang box. So that's behind me. Alright, so I'll give you a plain look. So that's it, when you put your TV on the wall, you plug up all your stuff, you got your wireless sound bar. I'm gonna show you how it look when it's done. hitting behind me so you can't really see it see you don't want to be able to see it from underneath neither so it's gonna give you that clean look 